Okay, so let's talk about the rules of the road when it comes to exponentiation. You know, the bottom line is, as long as you take it slowly, take it carefully, you'll never go wrong. But it's when sometimes students just don't start, stop to think about things that all of a sudden things get a little bit hurried. So let me just go through and show you not only the rules of the road, but how to always get the rules of the road correct, which is even more important. Okay, so let's just first of all start off with a very simple kind of arithmetic question. Suppose I wanted to figure out what 2 cubed times 2 to the fifth is. OK, well, how would I do that? Well, you know, what do you do with those exponents? Do you, do you add them? Do you subtract them? Do you multiply them, divide them? You know, a great guess, by the way. Here is a super guess. This equals 2, and since I'm multiplying, I multiply, and I get 15. That is a great guess. And I hope that you, and everyone you know, makes that guess right now, and then never makes that guess again. Because, in fact, this is a classic, classic mistake. In fact, it's number six on my list of classic mistakes. See, look, number there six. it is, exponent mistake. And the mistake is to, to multiply the exponents when you're multiplying the numbers. That is actually incorrect. And my little mantra to you is very simple. When in doubt, when in doubt write, it write, it write it out. And this really is going to be handy. And let me show you exactly how handy this will be. Let's write this out. If you were to write this out, what would you see? Well, you would see a heck of a lot of twos. <laughs> it's, it's very twoy. <clears throat> OK, so let's write it out. There's 2 times 2 times 2. And then I've got 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. That's what it is. That's the answer. Now, can you compactify that? You sure can, because this equals 2 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 power. So the answer is this equals 2 to the 8th, not the great guess of 2 to the 15th. You see, this is wrong. Well, how do we get 2 to the 8th? Well, in fact, just by writing it out, you can see exactly what's going on here. There's no mystery. What's happening? Well, I've got three 2's from the first number, and I've got five 2's from the next number. So how many 2's do I have together? What do I do? I add the exponents. It's as simple as that, because I've got so many 2's here and so many 2's there. So in total, I have eight of them. So when multiplying out the bases like this, the secret is to add the exponents, not multiply. So in general, let me actually give you a general rule of the road here. So these are rules of the road. If you take, for example, a and you raise it to the n power, and you multiply that by a raised to the m power, then what that equals is a raised to the n plus m power. There is a rule of the road. So that's a great fact about exponentiation that we'll use again and again and again, both directions, both this way breaking into there and this way going into there. So that's fine. Great. OK, now what about when you have different bases, when in fact you just don't have a and a together? Let me show you an example. For instance, suppose that I have 3 to the 4th, and I multiply that by 5 to the 4th. What would be a great wrong answer here? Well, a great wrong answer would be to say, OK, fine, fine, add exponents. Now, the bases are different. I'll just multiply the bases together. So that would be 15. Add exponents, trying to not break cardinal rule number 6. And 4 and 4 is 8. So there's a great wrong answer. There's a great wrong answer. And why is it wrong? Well, again, all you have to do when in doubt is write it out. If you write out what this, exact, what this thing means exactly, you'll see why this is wrong and what the correct answer is. Let's write it out. Write so it out. Oh, 3 yeah. times 3 times 3, and then 5 times 5 times, oops. <laughs> you want to write out all the 3s, even, even the invisible ones that you might Forget about. Look at that. See, I'm just going to sneak it right in there and make it really fancy. See, what you do is when you make a mistake, by the way, you really exaggerate it. So that way people think it was on purpose. That really fancy three. Five, and then I'll make a fancy five here for the same reason. You see? So if someone's going to sort of join into this video late, they'll think, oh, wow, that, those last ones must be really important. But we know they're not. 